you should be angry. You should be offended and proactively infuriated with what has become of our artistic integrity, literacy, and language in America. These words, this language, is a pure gift. It's what separates you from the world while uniting us as a society. These words, this language, is your paintbrush. It's your prolific jackhammer. It's your bombastic radiant bell waiting to be rung stuck on the floor of an idle canyon. It's your God-given duty to embellish this pure poetry, to revel, bathe in, wrap your arms around and hold it close to your heart before it descends from your tongue to reveal the brilliance that is you. Poetry, poetry, poetry will resurrect us from these mundane doldrums of shorthand internet lingos and banal Rami pop songs. Talk to me, sing to me, speak, 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 and tell me that you're angry at me as I am you. Tell us that it is all of our faults. We all have a hand in this rapid decay of merit, this massive, blasphemous neglect to strive to be enlightened. It's not okay anymore. Ignorance is not bliss. This lethargic language is not okay anymore. We can't be perfect, but we can strive to be better. True effort is perfect. Stagnation is a cowardly, camouflaged submission. Redemption is not lost. Oh, you desperate ears, there's a revival brewing. Oh, you desperate ears! There's a renaissance amassing. Oh, you desperate ears! There's a movement that's patiently waiting to rise. It's deep down at the bottom of that canyon. Our hands are sore, but they are strong. Our hands are sore, but they are strong. And can hold together one hand at a time so that you reach the bottom of that canyon and raise up the true treasures and foundations of our artistic language, which has and may again inspire imagination, respond to beauty, captivate, and catapult us into the future. Give me literacy or give me death. All pins are created equal. Float like a butterfly, speak like a beat. The only thing we have to fear is ignorance itself. Yes, we can tear down this wall. I have a dream that our language, language of the people, by the people, for the people, should not perish from the word.